making her way to the ring from Miami, Florida. Listen to this place! <laughs> The Great One is here! Byron Saxton, are you excited? <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're excited! The most electrifying man in all of entertainment! The biggest box office draw around the globe and one of the greatest WWE superstars ever. A much deserved ovation for the great one. An eight time WWE champion. The Rock's one of the biggest stars in the entire world. And Byron, I think you should keep his name out of your mouth, you jabroni. The baddest woman on the planet is here. There is only one. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And her opponent. From Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Listen to this place. They're going nuts. And there's the bell, and here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Despite his busy schedule, the only thing that Brahma Bull wants to do now is lay the smackdown on his opponent. Hey, Corey, do you smell that? Byron, leave the catchphrases to the great one. But yes, we all smell what The Rock is cooking. There, you made me say it. See, that wasn't too bad. Harsh impact. Ooh, what impact. Sometimes you'll see a smile on Ronda Rousey's face, but that changes once she goes into combat mode, Corey. <laughs> Call the cops when Ronda's on the loose. She'll tell you she's not a wrestler or a fighter. Ronda's a martial artist. Her judo training means she puts out maximum efficiency with minimum effort. There's a philosophy, purpose, and direction in everything she does. Clothesline! Right in the back of the neck. Byron, Corey described Ronda's judo philosophy with her extensive combat background. How does her past translate to competition in WWE? Well, Rousey is learning that her skills can make her a dominant force in WWE, but she still has to remember that there are moves she's never felt in an octagon and rules that make those moves and a pin attempt. And Rock getting the shoulder up. Yeah, seem to be just testing the waters a bit there. 
the world got to see Ronda Rousey make her in-ring debut at WrestleMania 34, but that wasn't the first time she was in a WWE ring. That would be when she confronted Triple H and Stephanie McMahon at WrestleMania 31. Byron brought us back to Ronda Rousey's appearance at WrestleMania 31. That night, after Triple H blurted about his win over Sting and Stephanie claimed all the WWE success that night, The Rock and Ronda Rousey confronted them to argue otherwise. And they were wrong, Cole. The Rock was not scheduled to perform at WrestleMania, and Rousey was a fan at ringside. Security should have ejected both of those hooligans for invading Triple H and Stephanie's ring. Uppercut. Ooh, oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. The Rock is in serious peril. Is there anything that can be done to get back to being a threat? Looks like her chances of winning this match are starting to dwindle. I really expected much more from her here tonight. I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment. She's losing steam here, fellas. This might be where her opponent looks to oh. put her away. When she gets in attack mode, look out. The Rock. Man, what a slam. Rock setting it up. Rock bottom, the Rock bottom. Cover, cover. One, two, this was not over yet. Wow. Look at her go. The Rock can play all sorts of mind games with his opponents. She's looking a little unsteady. And you can't help but wonder how much of this she can sustain. It looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight. And now she's paying for it. The Rock has an impressive entering resume that puts him in the discussion for the greatest WWE superstar of all time. But he's matched with a movie career that cemented the great one as the top leading man in Hollywood. You name the film genre. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Uh-oh, guys. Uh, this is going to be great. Michael, Corey, you both discussed The Rock's dominance on the big screen. And I have to point out that he brought his start on Full Circle when he actually produced a movie about Paige's career. Now, yeah, actually, a second time. The Rock with a rock bottom. There's a pin now. One, two, three. And The Rock picks up the win. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. Look at her go. She's taking care of business. forget this ain't nothing better than action like this here is your winner the Rock. ladies and gentlemen that's a very big win here tonight and to be honest, Michael, neither of these amazing women have anything to be ashamed of. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us.